Gloria must be in a good mood now. Gloria must be in a good mood now. I think I see the mail train approaching through yon tunnel. Mail train? Yay! Surely it bears to me a letter from my dear mother who abandoned me at this school for girls so long ago. A dragon? Ah! Ha ha ha! Tis a dragon indeed. You have been fooled and burned.
must be in a good mood now. Or you must be in a good mood now. Oh, another script? The day the mailboat finally came? Uh-oh. Prop department, I'm gonna need a boat on stage right away. Okay, people. Laces, everyone. And action. I say, I believe I do see the mail boat approaching. Oh, it was never a vessel more beautiful and resplendified. Are you Miss Gloria Von Guten? Yes. Well, then these bags and bags of lavender-scented fan mail must be for your beautiful self. Yay! Von Guten? Yes! Well, then these bags and bags of lavender scented fan mail must be for your beautiful self! Our career. 
I mean your career. No! Never shall I go! Worry not, baby daughter, for I every day shall write to you. Yes, and I shall mail the letters myself. Personal. Ha <laughs> ha! School for Girls, where you will begin your long and painful training in the theatrical disciplines. Wah ha ha! But I don't want to study theater! I want my mom to come take me home right now! Your mom has a career and a boyfriend to think about. Nothing more tedious than the tears of an unlovable child. It's time to suffer for your art. air balloon I need to get to the catwalks. Now, if I could just get them to do a play that brings it down here, I could ride it up to the catwalks and take care of that phantom. Don't worry, I'm sure 
they'll come for you, and you'll never have to think of that bad place again, ever. Hey, you're right. I think I see that now. Hello, my dear beloved daughter. We have come back for you. Please come with us and be happy and never think of this terrible, terrible place again.
How dare you violate the sanctuary of the Phantom? Stop, or your next step will be your last! so I can come punch and unmask you. <laughs> okay, Phantom, it's time to find out who you really are. What? I totally guessed that. Uh-uh, you said it was Becky. Okay, the jig is up, Phantom. What? Why, I never... How dare you accuse me of being the rugged and romantic scoundrel that has thrilled and terrified audiences for years? Yeah, I guess you're right. He's so agile and limber and thin. He could never be you. Why, you? Of course it's me! Well, it's time to hang up the cape, Tubbs, because your days of terrorizing the theater as the Phantom are over. Maybe as the Phantom, but he's nothing compared to the full destructive force of an angry critic! <laughs> How can I say this and still sound cool? Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me? Well then, how about these? <laughs> Disgusting. 
What's up, Linda? Prepare yourself for passage, human child. Would you like me to take you, Agent Crawler? I want to go to the campfire area. Mm. You look so cute in that janitor outfit. 
Would you like me to take you, Agent Crowler? Drop me outside the main lodge. Oh, bring me back a burger this time, will you? Anything new in the store? Now with that, you now, mmm, dream I'll stuff. Take it. Excellent choice. What else can I do you for? Take it. Alrighty then. What else can I do you I'll for? Take it. Excellent choice. What else can take I do it. you for? Put that on my tab. Ah, uh, sorry, Matt. That's no can do. Now. We only trade it. All right. Go get more air. Where would you like me to take you, Agent Crawler? It's time to go to the lake. Yes, sir, Admiral, sir. What's up, Linda? Prepare yourself for passage, human child. Yeah. 